the motion of the water and the ocean, there's a lot of adrenaline that goes through. It's really exhilarating, and when the canoe is moving together, it's indescribable. Outrigger paddling is a great sport for those of us that are visually impaired. It's one of those things where you're just in the canoe and you can go as hard as you can, and you know that you're safe to do that. The Makapo Aquatics Project is a charity that wants to help blind and visually impaired people live active lives, and we do that around the sport of outrigger paddling. RJ came to me and said that one of his goals was to figure out a way to be able to have a single blind person or a low vision person in a one person canoe. For me, my research is focused on people with visual impairment, assistive technology, and the DIY space. I'm interested in how we go about identifying and building and designing these types of systems. And I've learned a lot through this process as a result of that. This is a one-person outrigger canoe. What we've done is we've created a new tiller cap here that allows us to attach a remote control system. And so we can use this suction cup mount to fasten it to the device so it's stable. And it's installed, so now the boat can be remotely controlled. For this project, our goal is to get a blind paddler in a sighted race. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out. First race of the season, the off the couch race. Today we're entering Andrew Scavarla, who's paddled with Makapo since he was about 16. We're putting him in our remote control one man. He's a phenomenal paddler and he's just grown up with us and so it's very exciting to put him in. Okay everybody, if I can get everybody to line up. By the way, I want to make sure you guys all take a look to your right. I've got Andrew. Andrew's racing on a single, an OC1. He's got a remote steering system. This is the first time entering this system in a race. There's that inevitable stress where you expect it to go perfect and who knows what's going to happen. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. Go, Andrew! Yeah. Me paddling on my own personal ages. You know, I feel like I have more freedom to, you know, be out there on my own. It just feels incredible. Keep working it, Andrew. Our goal with the Remote Control One Man is to share it with other canoe clubs throughout the world so that other blind people can enjoy outrigger paddling a one-man canoe. Andrew, you're at a halfway point of the race, all right? All right. There's definitely something that I love about being able to conceptualize something, design it, build it, and then see it put into use. It's been a really meaningful experience to be able to work with Mark, who is from UCI. I graduated in 97. A lot of our founders graduated from UCI as well. Much of our volunteer staff is from UCI. It's just nice to be able to tie these two communities together. And with everything that Makapo does, it's all about family and Ohana. It's just nice to know that people from UCI are part of the Ohana now.